they had they uh, they had ground ground fire. I don't remember ever seeing a Jap fighter attack us. Uh, some of the guys said they did. Uh, I never saw one, but uh, ground fire was was uh, there was a some some missions there was a lot of ground fire. We had I flew 25 missions. I'd say about maybe a third of them we classified as hairy. They were the ones where people were shot down or people killed. Bad, tough, tough missions. About one third we called milk runs. We never saw any any opposition. We just did our job and came back. And about one third was in, in between. A little bit of opposition, but not too much. And I, I write about I only remembered maybe six or seven of my missions. You know, 65 years ago, I don't remember them. And the milk runs, for sure, I don't remember. Nothing happened. So, uh, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we'd fly over, drop our bombs, do our strafing, and come back. And, and the one thing I do want to mention, uh, on every mission we flew, there were either submarines, friendly submarines, or friendly... Cats, we call them, the Catalinas flying boats. They were painted black, and they were known to us as black cats. They were black Catalinas. They were, I, I, I don't remember seeing them, but I do remember they picked up some of my friends who had a ditch, and uh, the Navy was extremely helpful. They were always on, we were told they were on every mission we were. As a matter of fact, when we flew to, to Hawaii, uh, from California to Hawaii, there were three submarines on our way. And if we ever had, if anybody ever had a ditch, you push a button on the IFF. That's a box that sits by the pilot's left knee. It's identification friend or foe. It's a box. And if he pushes a button, it sends out an automatic SOS. And if we ever had a ditch, he pushed that button, and the nearest submarine would surface and pick us up. The Navy was extremely helpful.